more to it. Write two polynomials equivalent to 9x squared minus 36. So when I glance at 9x squared minus 36, what I see is the difference of two squares pattern. That's what I see. And I sincerely hope that you start to see it too. But it's a minus b times a plus b. Because when I look at 9x squared, I see a 3x that has been squared. And when I look at a 36, I see a 6 that has been squared. All right? So that's the first thing I see. So if that's the first thing I see, then 9x squared minus 36 is 3x minus 6 times 3x minus 6. All right, that's something I see. Uh, here is something else I see. I also see a 9 times an x squared minus a 4. So here, by the way, is something. Here is something. And there's a third choice here. It just says write 2. But you need to know how to do all of them because it'll be multiple select, and I'm only going to give you two of them. All right? You'll choose two. Uh, 9 times x squared minus 4 is 9 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 because it's the same pattern as that. So, you know, there's actually three different ways you can rewrite that thing that are equivalent. And that's what it's about, equivalency. Express 12 cubed plus 6 cubed using this pattern right here. Uh, if you're honors, you won't see this pattern. I need you to understand that. If you're honors, you will not see this or that. Okay? It'll only be for non-honors kids. So you better memorize it. We have 12 cubed plus 6 cubed. We're supposed to use our pattern. Uh, glancing at this, to form a 12 cubed, I cube 12. To form a 6, I cube 6. <laughs> I just plug crap into that form. So the first factor is simply 12 plus 6. The second factor, I'm not going to leave it as 12 squared. Minus because there's a minus 12 times 6. Plus because there's a plus 6 squared. That's how hard the problem is. Really is. But what's number 3? Write three polynomials equivalent to 8x cubed minus 216. Ah, I wonder if that's even possible. Alright, so here's the first thing I see. I see that I can pull an 8. And if I pull an 8, I would have x cubed minus... I'm not even sure. 27? No, it ain't 27. 36? No, it ain't 36 either. Maybe it is 27. No, it was 27. I was right. So, minus 27. So there's one. O was 3. All right. Uh, see the pattern here? A would be X because I cube an X to become X cubed. B would be 3. So 8 times X minus 3 because I'm looking at my pattern. When I square an X, I get X squared. Plus because there's a plus, 3 times X is 3X. Plus because there's a plus, 3 squared is 9. There's a second one. Now, there's another way to do this problem. If you look at it originally... And you know your cubes. This is a 2x that's cubed. Take away a 6 that's cubed. So you could have just gone ahead and factored it from the get-go, where a was 2x and b was 6. It's not a complete factorization, but it's close. Uh, we would have 2x minus 6, because I'm looking at my pattern. If I square a 2x, all of it, I get a 4x squared. Plus, because there's a plus. 2x times 6 is 12x. And then 6 squared is 36. And there's your third one. There's three ways to do it. FOA. Write two polynomials equivalent to x to the fourth minus 16x minus 4x squared plus 64. Two of them. The first one is actually just when you do the initial factoring by grouping. That's all that's all the matter.